Creating custom setups on your iPhone has been a big thing since the release of iOS 14, where it would allow you to create shortcuts using the Shortcuts app right on your home screen and add a custom icon to that shortcut. But most users won't actually do this because it's actually too complicated or it requires quite a lot of work. You will first have to download an icon pack and then go ahead and create all the shortcuts for all the different apps. But that was true until now. In this video, I will show you guys an app that will allow you to actually customize fully create a custom setup on your iPhone simply by clicking a button, which is really, really amazing. And of course, will save a lot of time and a lot of work for iPhone users. So the app is called One Widget. Now this is not a new app, it had been released before, but with the latest updates, it does a lot of great things and we're gonna go through them one by one and I will show you guys how to get this custom setup in a matter of seconds. Now you can see here we have a theme basically with custom icons, custom shapes. We have a transparent live widget which actually rotates there. You can see the clock actually rotates and we can have another one here which is live. You can see the seconds right there which is really really cool. So let's start off with widgets. Then we're going to move to the lock screen widgets, to the live activities and of course on the last one, I will show you guys how to easily install a theme and also all the wallpapers that go with that theme so you can get this custom shape effect right here. So from the app right here, once you open the app, now this is actually not a sponsored video. I just enjoyed this app and I thought I'd share it with you guys. So the app to get the full features is actually paid, but it's very, very cheap. You get like the full features for like 39 cents a month i believe and this is the app right here so you can see it has the full package we have lock launcher which allows us to launch apps from the lock screen that we have live widgets we have wallpapers dynamic island and themes as well so first of all let's go ahead and talk about the widgets so if we go here we have a bunch of different widgets that are recommended by the app when you go to live right here, you can have some live widgets, which are really, really cool. So you can see this music player right there. But what you can actually do with this is you can add your own image right there on the disc. So I can tap right here on the album and add it. Here's one that I had added before or the other one. And I can go ahead and add this to my home screen simply by saving it. And of course, then go ahead and add it from the home screen. So what you can also do is create transparent widgets now to create transparent widgets you go right here and then you will be able to actually upload your wallpaper that way you can create your custom transparent widgets the way it works you simply go to your home screen and go right here to the edit mode slide here where there are no apps you take a screenshot of this page and then you go back into the app and tap on transparent right here and just load your screenshots right here and you're good to go then simply go ahead and add your widgets to the home screen and right here you can go ahead tap on edit widget pick any widget you want from the ones that you have saved and you will have your transparent live widgets on your home screen now when it comes to the lock screen it also offers some really cool widgets for the lock screen so you can see right here we have some like featured ones which you can go ahead and add as a package so if we go here we have one with information regarding this week and all that we have here one with like all your socials you can add your instagram there or your spotify or twitter or any other one you want so if we go here we can just save the group and once you go to your lock screen, you add the widget from this app, you can add this group right there. You will also have live widgets for your lock screen. So basically GIF files that will be live on the lock screen will be played on the lock screen, which is really, really cool. So you will have some smaller ones and of course some bigger ones right here. Now you can customize these any way you want you will have a ton of different options right here to choose and add there and also add any text you want which is really really cool and you can get some really nice widgets on your lock screen so you can see a few that i'm using here this one which shows of course the toggles right there for the wi-fi bluetooth and cellular data which one is on which one is off and the volume right there which is again really really nice going to the home screen you will also have lock launcher which basically allows us to pick any icon you want from these apps and add it as a widget on your home screen on your lock screen actually so you can go ahead and launch those apps via the lock screen widgets or you can go to dynamic island and here you will have a launcher which of course you can customize here and add any app you want simply tap on right here and you can pick 
from different categories from different apps here and add them to your home to your lock screen actually or you can have a url or anything like custom you want here so if you tap there on url you can add a shortcut maybe or a url and then of course be able to launch it via the live activities so you will have the launcher right here you can add different paths if you want to you have your sleeping of course you will have to allow the data there you will have your health data you can pick any type of health data you want here and add them to your home screen to your lock screen and you will have the holidays as well which is actually really really cool so let's just go with the launcher right here if we start this you will see that it will go on the dynamic island but we also have it right here on the lock screen which makes it look really really nice and of course they're very useful as you can open any of these apps directly from your lock screen and now let's move on to the most important thing and those are themes these are really really cool so when you tap on themes right here you will get a bunch of different recommended themes but you will also get abstract right there color nature minimal all the different like categories that you might want to add to your home screen so let's just go ahead and pick one here now the way this works you can see that where there is like a theme that requires a certain wallpaper to make it look good it will actually allow you to download everything at the same time so right here i can go ahead and tap let's say on this theme right here and you can see it shows what it has so it offers 81 icons 12 widgets and two wallpapers but everything will be automatically downloaded to your device so when i tap use right here you can see it shows the wallpapers that it includes you can just check them right there and download them these are like photo photo widgets that you can add with this theme so it makes it look really nice you will have all the photos for all the different like sizes of the widgets and you can select here what you want to download or what not and then tap the next button right here and you will have all the icons right here so you will have a few of them which are selected and then you can go ahead and select any other one that you might want to download from here so you can see all the different icons all the different apps and you can go ahead and just select these apps from here and then of course just tap the next install button and it will actually take you to your safari browser and from here you can just download the theme immediately so let's just go ahead and wait for this wait for a couple of seconds here it will load the website and then load the profile so it should take about like five to six seconds to load the website and then it will show you this screen don't do anything here until you see a pop-up this is the pop-up right here just tap on allow and close this and head on to your settings app now when you go to the settings app you will find the profile downloaded at the top of your settings you tap on install enter your passcode here and once you have installed the profile you have the icons on your home screen now, as you can see right there those don't look as good because we have the wallpaper from the other theme now let's just go ahead and apply the wallpaper it just downloaded automatically to our photos app and here are all the wallpapers that it has downloaded this is the one for the home screen so we can just go ahead and apply this as a wallpaper and add it to the home screen tap on done now when you set the wallpaper here make sure you go ahead and remove the blur from the home screen wallpaper so you go to your lock screen tap on customize and from here you can actually remove the blur tap on done and then when you go to the home screen you will get those really nice looking icons of course you have all the widgets and everything that it has downloaded automatically so you can go ahead and add them if you want to if not you can just keep it like this which actually looks really really nice now another thing you can do here you can see if i tap to open an app it will actually do like this animation it will redirect it to the app because of course these go through the shortcuts app but what you can actually do is head on to your settings app and from settings here go under accessibility scroll all the way down go to per app settings tap on add app go to home screen and then tap here and just go right here reduce motion and just tap on on and you can see now it actually removes that animation which makes it look way way better now if you want to uninstall the theme all you have to do is just go ahead and remove the profile from the settings app so that's basically for this video guys hope you guys enjoyed the video go ahead leave a like if you did subscribe for more and i'll see you on the next one